Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features in this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a 4x4 pickup from Nissan, the Navara Pro 4X, and a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle from Mitsubishi, the Outlander. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Mazda CX-30 FWD Sport versus the Honda CR-V SX AWD. On Autopedia, we'll talk about how a supercharger works. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of the Volkswagen T-Cross as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Nissan. The 4x4 pickup war just keeps getting hotter and hotter. Nissan stoked the fire with the introduction of the Navara Pro 4X 4x4. Car review checks out this new combatant, the pickup wars. Nissan has just rolled out the Navarre Pro 4X 4x4, now the flag bearer of its local mid-size pickup lineup. The latest iteration of the Navarre is both muscular and modern, with large grille, chiseled bumper and fenders, and sizable cargo bed. The Navarre takes up a space that's 5,260mm long, 1,875mm wide, and 1,855mm at its highest point. The brochure doesn't say anything about the minimum ground clearance of the Navara Pro 4X, but it does say that the maximum water weighting for the pickup is 600 millimeters. The Pro 4X shares with some of its siblings the quad LED projector headlamps, LED daylight running lights, fog lamps and tail lights, the rain wipers, side step, high mount stop lamp, front and rear mud guard, as well as a utility track channel to help in securing various items. One can tell the Pro 4X from the other Navara variants by its dark colored front grille with the black and orange Nissan logo, the body colored front bumper with orange accents, the black tailgate assist, black window molding, and the gloss black roof rails. Nissan has equipped the Navara Pro 4X 4x4 with much of the latest and standard comfort and convenience not expected in top end pickups. You've got keyless entry system with Nissan's intelligence key function, push button engine start stop system power windows and door locks, dual climate control system with rear vents. You've got what Nissan calls the zero gravity type for high-tech comfort, but on the Pro 4X it only comes with manual slide recline and height adjustment. 
The seats are upholstered in leather with Pro 4X stitching. The leather matches the armrests and door trips. You've got a center console with armrests and a center upper tray. Driver and passenger won't lack for cup and bottle holders. There is a 12 volt socket and USB port for devices and gadgets. The meter cluster features the 7 inch color TFT display. The Navarre Pro 4X offers entertainment and connectivity using the Nissan 8th inch advanced touchscreen display audio unit that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth for hands free call and audio streaming, radio tune, and six speakers. Cool thing to have on the road on long drives or in traffic. Another cool thing about driving the Pro 4X is what Nissan calls the zero gravity front seats for driver and front seat passenger. The seat has been designed to provide generous support and help reduce fatigue, especially on long drives. The leather wrapped steering wheel tilts but does not telescope, but it comes with controls for audio, hands free phone, cruise control, and multi information display screen and voice recognition. The Navarre is a pickup truck using a fully boxed ladder frame chassis designed for strength and to resist twisting, especially when carrying heavy loads or on rough roads and trails. Nissan has fitted the Navarro with independent double wishbones and coil spring and stabilizer in front and a 5-link system with dual rate coil spring and stabilizer bar in the rear, all to provide a pickup truck that will provide a comfortable ride and handling as can be possible on a utility vehicle running on paved surfaces as well as toughness and reliability on unpaved roads. The Pro 4X is meant to be Navarro's entry into the territory occupied by the Ranger Raptor and other supposedly off-road ready 4x4 mid-size pickups available locally. As it is, the Pro 4X is powered by a 2488cc diesel engine with variable turbocharger and intercooler capable of generating 190 PS at 3600 RPM and 450 Nm of torque at 2000 RPM. The engine is mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission with manual mode and a part-time 4-wheel drive system with shift on the fly capability for shifting from 2H, 4H, and 4L mode. The drive system also comes with electronic locking ear differential. Nissan calls its suite of driver assist tech and system the Nissan Intelligent Mobility, and the Navarre Pro 4X gets the full treatment as it comes with intelligent emergency braking, driver attention alert, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, high beam assist, hill start assist, and hill descent control. It also features a round view monitor plus off road monitor. The latter activates at slow speeds in four wheel mode, giving driver a clear view of the surrounding terrain, very useful when on off road trails. Nissan also did a scrimp on providing the Navarre Pro 4 X 4x4 with all the safety tech and gear. Aside from the standard stuff like SRS airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, speed testing door locks in isofix and teether anchors, the Pro 4 X also has vehicle dynamic control with trailer stability assist, and 4-wheel active brake limited slip which automatically directs power to the wheels with the best traction. The Navarro also comes with an anti-theft system with alarm and engine immobilizer. Looking at the specs alone, the Navara Pro 4X seems to have the edge over the competition at this point in time. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you waiting for. Seven seater in style. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Peace. 
Strata Athlete. Unleash the athlete. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. The Nissan Leaf, the world's first mass-produced five-seater, five-door fully electric hatchback is now available at Nissan dealerships in Tagum City and in Matina, Davao City. Nissan Philippines has followed through with the promise to make the Leaf, which has sold more than half a million units globally in more dealerships since formal launch in the country last month. Back then, only three dealerships, Nissan Mantrade Makati, Nissan Otis, and Nissan Cebu South v. Rama, were ready to provide the necessary support for selling the Leaf. All Nissan dealerships with the LEAF in their lineup are equipped with EV systems capable of fully charging the LEAF in 40 to 60 minutes. They have also specialized facilities and certified and trained experts to serve LEAF owners. This is part of Nissan's plan to establish the biggest network of charging stations in the country. The Nissan LEAF has a range of 311 kilometers on a full charge and a top speed of 141 kph. It can be fully powered up in 15 to 18 hours at home through a dedicated wall outlet with a supplied universal charging cable. The Nissan LEAF comes with a 2,798,000 peso sticker price in a 3-year, 100,000km vehicle warranty and an 8-year, 160,000km battery warranty. Nissan is supported in this EV drive by Gateway Motors Group as the sole distributor of the Nissan LEAF in the country. All British Cars, the sole authorized dealer of Jaguar Land Rover vehicles, parts, and accessories in the Philippines, has now made available the 2021 Discovery. The 2021 Discovery has gotten a mid-cycle facelift and now features new signature headlights with daytime running lights, revised front bumper and side vents, and new signature rear combination lamps joined across the back by a gloss black panel. The interior of the seven-seater Discovery also got an upgrade and a makeover with the spacious cabin incorporating Land Rover's cutting-edge PV Pro infotainment system with an 11.4-inch Full HD touchscreen, advanced Bluetooth smartphone integration that can connect with two phones at a time through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The interactive driver display provides high-definition 3D mapping within the instrumentation and can be customized to suit driver preference. The new Discovery comes with a new straight 6 Ingenium engine featuring a 48V mild hybrid electric vehicle. According to Land Rover, the new Discovery combines superb all-terrain suspension geometry with rewarding dynamics and excellent body control, while maintaining ride quality and comfort. The state-of-the-art air suspension design, lightweight aluminum architecture, and intelligent drivetrains deliver a 7-seat SUV that is hugely versatile, highly capable, incredibly refined, yet more engaging to drive. Another highlight in the new Discovery is the clear sight ground view technology, providing drivers with a view of the ground directly beneath the front of the vehicle using the central touchscreen and a combination of forward-facing cameras. The new 2020 Discovery is priced at 6,490,000 pesos. Toyota vehicle owners in Dipolog City and nearby areas no longer have to go far to have their sedans, SUVs, pickups undergo preventive maintenance checkups or repairs. The city known as the Gateway to Mester Mindanao now has a Toyota dealership complete with showroom and service center. Located along the National Highway, Toyota Dipolog features a 2,600 square meter showroom and a 7,200 square meter service and workshop area with six bays for general services, eight bays for body and paint requirements, another for periodic maintenance. Toyota Dipolog is the 71st dealership in the Toyota Motor Philippines network and the second in the Zamboanga Peninsula. Toyota Dipolog, which also features lounges and comfortable spaces, including a customer cafe, operates under the leadership of dealer franchise owner Betty Lu, a longtime partner of Toyota who also oversees dealerships in northern Mindanao, Zamboanga Peninsula, and Caraga. Toyota Dipolog is open from Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., offering sales and services while observing the required safety protocols for everyone's well-being. Rains have come, but it hasn't cooled car companies from offering new deals. In fact, the rains may have served as an inspiration for more new deals. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines has rolled out what it calls the Mitsubishi Downpour Deals Promo. This rainy season deals offers low down payment plans for various models of the Mitsubishi Motors product lineup. These include 28,000 all-in down payment for the Mirage and the Mirage G4, 58,000 for the Expander, 128,000 for the Strada, 168,000 for the Montero Sport, and 88,000 for the Alt 300. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I think 
My dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Live Extra with the Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Every time I'm on the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. In this edition of Head to Head, we compare the specs of the Mazda CX-30 Sport front-wheel drive against those of the Honda CRV SX all wheel drive. To say that the local SUV crossover market is crowded these days is surely an understatement. Especially now that every other car maker and every other regional market has come into place its own bet. In this head to head, we pit two SUV crossovers from two popular Japanese brands the CX30 Sport FWD from Mazda and the CRV SX EWD from Honda. The Mazda is a 5-seater compact crossover priced at 1.79 million pesos, while the Honda is a 7-seater compact SUV priced at 2.158 million pesos. The Mazda CX-30 is 4,395 millimeters long, 1,795 millimeters wide, and 1,540 millimeters tall, with a 2,655 millimeters wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 180 millimeters. The exterior of the Mazda CX-30 Sport FWD is described as sexy and sporty and comes with headlamps with adaptive front lighting system, rain sensing wipers, side mirrors with power just in fold function, dual exhaust tailpipes and 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 21555R18 tires. The Honda CR-V is 4,623mm long, 1,855 millimeters wide and 1,668mm tall with a 2,662mm long wheelbase and a 208mm ground clearance. It arrived late last year with a new refreshed fashion that included a bumper with LED fog lamps and chrome accents and grill wind. Other exterior features include smoke-tinted rear taillights, panoramic sunroof, sequential front turn signals, roof rails, full LED headlights with auto leveling, and high beam support system, power adjustable and power folding door mirrors with side turn signals, rain sensing front wipers, intermittent washer and auto wipe rear wipers, tailgate spoiler, silver pump sink garnish, Sharksman antenna, mud guards, and 18-inch alloy wheels. The Mazda CX-30 Sport FWD comes with a smart keyless entry system. Inside, it comes with black leather seats and trim. The driver's seat adjusts eight ways. The front passenger seat adjusts six ways. The rear seats split and fold 60-40 and feature a pull-down center armrest. 
This is a leather wrapped three spoke steering wheel that tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for audio and Bluetooth and cruise control, as well as paddle shifters. The interior also features leather wrapped shift knob, instrument panel with 7 inch LCD display, dual zone automatic climate control with rear ventilation, auto dimming rear view mirror, power windows with one touch up and down function. The infotainment system comes with an 8.8 inch LCD monitor, has a connect and features two USB ports, Bluetooth connection, smart mirroring for connecting with phones, and an 8 speaker Hamasa harmonic acoustic system. All local Honda CRV variants now come standard with smart entry with push start system. Inside are black leather upholstered seats for seven in a capacious cabin decked with piano black and two toned wood trim and finish. The third row seat splits 50 50, the second row seats slide, recline, and split 60 40. The driver gets 8-way power-adjust seat with 4-way lumbar support. The front passenger seat powered just 4 ways. The CRV SX AWD interior features 3-spoke leather upholstered steering wheel that tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for the multi-info display on the TFT instrument cluster, audio and hands free phone. It also features an intelligent dual-zone automatic air conditioning system with group vents with independent controls. The infotainment system uses 7-inch touchscreen advanced display audio with navigation system and comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, and plays through 8 speakers that include 4 tweeters. The CX-30 Sport FWD is powered by a naturally aspirated inline 4 1998cc engine that generates 154 PS and 200Nm of torque, made it to Mazda's Sky Active Drive 6-speed transmission with sport mode. The brake system uses this on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. The CX-30 suspension features McPherson struts on the front wheels and torsion beam in the rear. The CRV SX AWD is powered by a 1.6-liter DOHC ID-Tech turbo diesel engine that generates 120 PS and maximum torque of 300 Nm. The engine drives all four wheels via a 9-speed automatic transmission. The brakes use ventilated disc in front and solid disc in the rear. The suspension features a front McPherson strut and multi-link system in the rear. Mazda filled the CX-30 Sport FWD with many of the standard safety features and driver assist technology such as anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, electric parking brake, auto brake hold, G vectoring control, dynamic stability control, rear view cameras, I stop which automatically shuts off the engine at full stops and turns it back on when it's time to go again. Other standard safety features include three-point seat belts for all passengers, front and side airbags for driver and front seat passenger, curtain and driver knee airbags, and child locks. Honda has equipped the CRV SX AWD with driver assist and safety technologies. These include G-Body, dual front SRS, side and curtain airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, three-point ELR seat belts for seven, ISO fix and child safety lock emergency stop signal and driver attention monitor. Driver assist technologies include Agile Handling Assist, Vehicle Stability Assist, Hill Start Assist, Honda Lane Watch, a multi-view reverse camera with dynamic guidelines, front and rear corner sensors. It also comes with Honda Sensing, a suite of driver assist functions that include adaptive cruise control, low speed follow, collision mitigation braking systems, lane keep assist system, road departure mitigation, forward collision warning, and lane departure warning. In checking out the market for SUVs and crossovers, it is worthwhile to do some cross-checking between 5 and 7 seaters with similar sticker prices. Isuzu D-MAX into new heights. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, 
is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Ilustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Humans choose more challenging paths to go up and over our biggest obstacle, ourselves. New Ford Ranger FX4 Max. Live the Ranger life. Life is about making decisions, acting with certainty, confidence, and grit to create something lasting and big, driving to make a difference. Hino. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Volkswagen Philippines is high on the launch of the T-Cross, a model it sees as perfect for one of the hottest segments of the local automotive market. In this edition of Special Feature, Volkswagen Philippines President Felipe Estrella III tells us why. By this time, the fun social media game Volkswagen Philippines came up with, called the hashtag T-Cross Trend Spotting, should have a lot of participants and entries. The game is all about spotting a T-Cross, snapping a picture and posting, sending it on the social media pages of Volkswagen Philippines, with a brief caption and including hashtag T-Cross Trend Spotting, or hashtag more than one thing. After the slow strip tease of a launch, Volkswagen's subcompact SUV T-Cross is not available at VW dealerships nationwide, and many should now be on the streets. VW Philippines expects the hashtag T-Cross trend spotting game to continue fanning the flames of excitement sparked by the arrival of the T-Cross. VW Philippines President Felipe Estrella III talks about the excitement sparked by its newest vehicle. What we think makes uh, this particular product uh, quite exciting is we do notice a trend towards SUVs here in the Philippines. Particularly, the subcompact SUV is one of the new and emerging segments. And so we wanted to toss our hat into that ring and offer Filipinos an option in that segment. And fortunately also, a product such as the T-Cross is available within the product portfolio of Volkswagen globally that we think is very well suited to the young and not so young, uh, trendy and not so trendy, and of course, flexible lifestyles uh, of uh, Filipino automotive buyers. Earlier in the year, VW Philippines began dropping broad hints that it will be bringing in the T-Cross, the new subcompact SUV that was making waves in all parts of the world where it had been launched. Then it began touting the design and safety awards as well as the successes in sales in various regions. Later, it detailed specs of the two variants of the T-Cross that it will be rolling out on our shores. It will be the longer wheelbase model powered by a Euro 6 emission standard 1.5-liter engine with 6-speed Teptronic automatic transmission, generating 113 PS and 145 Nm of torque. It will have safety and smart connectivity features that will excite the market and will come in trendy colors. And when the day of arrival of the units approach, prices were announced. The 180 MPIS would be offered at 1.098 million pesos, while the 180 MPIS E would be pegged at 1.198 million pesos, with an additional discount of 30,000 pesos off the announced SRPs for early reservations. And the units finally arrived. This early, following the arrival on local shores and in dealerships, is Volkswagen happy about the reception for the T Cross among buyers and VW and other car enthusiasts? I think generally the feedback has been uh, very positive uh, about the T-Cross. There is an excitement, of course, not only within Volkswagen Philippines, but also outside from people we talk to and I guess our followers, uh, those who follow the Volkswagen Philippines uh, Facebook page and website have also given us a very positive feedback on, on the coming of the T-Cross. And did the excitement and good reception for the D-Cross translate to reservations and sales? Uh, actually, we've been receiving a lot of inquiries and also quite a number of reservations, uh, which gives us the sense that uh, certainly we have a product that is appealing to the Filipino consumer. No? And there's a lot of things to like about the T-Cross because aside from the things that I mentioned earlier, the car will have creature comforts that Filipinos 
have come to appreciate a lot like touchscreen infotainment screen on the inside which is of a decent size comes with Apple CarPlay and App Connect there are USB charging ports inside the vehicle and then of course you know this is a Volkswagen vehicle and Volkswagen vehicles are known for having very comfortable seats so long drives in the T-Cross um, will be comfortable and its passengers will will not feel tired uh, after a long drive. The T-Cross variants rolled out by Volkswagen for local buyers are, like its competitors, equipped and laden with the trendy accoutrements of modern-day SUVs, the alphabet soup of safety and driver assist technologies, and extra and sometimes extraneous elements. In which category do you place the panoramic sunroof? What gives the VW T-Cross a leg up over the competition? The T-Cross globally actually comes in two wheelbases. And the version that we will be, uh, or that we have here in the Philippines, is the longer of the two. So even relative to other T-Crosses around the world, the Philippine version is more spacious, brought about because of the, the wheelbase that it has. So certainly it is one of the advantages that the T-Cross has, but there are others as well. Volkswagen is making it easier for people interested in the T-Cross to check it out at the dealerships. VW will even take the T-Cross to your home where you can check it out more safely amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. I'd like to invite uh, all the uh, viewers of um, Autofocus uh, to come and check out the Volkswagen T-Cross at uh, our dealerships nationwide. The T-Cross is, as I said, an exciting vehicle, we believe, and it comes with the Volkswagen assurance uh, of quality, of reliability, of safety. And in addition to that, we do have our after sales promise. So our Volkswagen T-Cross, when we benchmarked it, we found out that uh, over the course of a five-year ownership, it actually costs about 40% less to maintain a T-Cross and similarly other Volkswagen vehicles because of our once a year PMS. And our T-Cross will of course come standard with three year or 100,000 warranty. And as is typical for Volkswagen, should if there is a need to replace a spare part, the replacement spare part also comes with a two-year warranty. So we hope that uh, T-Cross owners um, will feel the uh, convenience of ownership and uh, the peace of mind uh, when they own a Volkswagen uh, vehicles. invitation is enticing. Why not see if Volkswagen really means it when it says it will bring a T-Cross to your home to have you check it out and test drive. Suzuki El Tiga. Seven seater in style. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions the WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his
his superpower. Be part of the 2021-2022 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to bit.ly slash AFPCA2021, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2021-2022 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until November 30, 2021. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Mitsubishi says it's the most popular plug-in hybrid electric vehicle in the world. Maybe we can discover why the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV has this distinction in this edition of Car Review. Mitsubishi was the first to roll out an electric vehicle for mass production, the iMe EV, back in 2009. Four years later, Mitsubishi was again leading the way with the launch of the first plug-in hybrid SUV, the Outlander PHEV. It took a number of years after that for Mitsubishi Motor Philippines to believe the local market is ready for the Outlander PHEV. But here it is now and it looks positively electrifying with the sleekest yet interpretation of Mitsubishi's Dynamic Shield concept fascia, black painted with dark chrome plating. At 4,695mm long, 1,800mm wide, and 1,710mm at its highest point, and with a 2,670mm wheelbase and 190mm minimum ground clearance, the Outlander PHEV also looks sleek and smooth from the side with straight accent lines and smooth rounded curves. Chrome door handles and belt line molding, silver roof rails and rear spoiler add touches of elegance and sport. It comes with all the latest in LED lighting tech, from the headlamps, daytime running lights, fog lamps to the rear combination lamps. The Outlander PHEV is both spacious and elegant with dark leather seats that match the synthetic leather inserts in the front and rear door trim. The seats have body-hugging side and thigh supports, with head restraints of synthetic leather. The driver's seat feature 4-way electronic adjust. Look up and you can see the sky through the sunroof with power tilt and slide functions and anti-trapping feature. A switch near the driver's seat opens and closes the power tailgate automatically, a great convenience for SUVs. Up front is a clear and tall view of the road as well as an elegant dashboard with the instrument panel that provides all the information the driver needs to know of the PHEV operations. Then there's the 8-inch smartphone link display with audio system that's integrated with the Mitsubishi Power Sound System that plays through four speakers. The system works in both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Underneath the touchscreen display are the controls for the Dual Zone Automatic Air Conditioner. Adding to convenience are USB port power outlets on the center floor console and the luggage area, as well as automatic dimming mirrors. But the best thing about the Outlander PHEV's powertrain system that features a 2.4-liter 16-valve four-cylinder DOHC MEVEC gasoline engine, two permanent magnet synchronous motor, one on the front and the other on the rear axle, front power drive unit, a rear electric motor control unit, a lithium-ion battery, and Mitsubishi Super All-Wheel Control System or SAWC. In essence, the PHEV powertrain has three drive modes, full electric with the motors powered by the battery, Series Hybrid with the engine providing power to the motors and Parallel Hybrid with engine powering the vehicle at high speeds with assistance from motors when needed. These are automatically selected by the Outlander's sophisticated power management system. But the driver can also select which mode he prefers using a joystick-like knob depending on whether he wants quiet all-electric short drive or longer drives in the countryside or how he wants to manage battery usage. The SAWC comes integrated with active yaw control anti-lock brake system, active stability control and traction control. By managing all this, the SAWC provides great traction, stability and linear handling all the while providing safety, comfort and fuel efficiency. The driver can now select SAWC controls, the power is sent to the front and rear wheel selecting normal, sport and lock modes depending on road conditions. 
All this means that the Outlander PHEV is fun, fuel efficient, and a stable drive in virtually all road conditions. You get to save a lot of the cost of fuel and feel good about helping the environment. Until charging stations are established in the country, owners can charge the Outlander PHEV batteries through regular power outlets at home or office using the onboard charger and charging cable. Charging time is around 5.5 hours. The engine can also charge the batteries with the generator. The battery also recovers energy through a regenerative brake system. The suspension features McPherson struts with coil spring and stabilizer in the front and a multi-link system with stabilizer in the rear. The brake uses two pot ventilated discs in front and solid discs in the rear. It comes with hill start assist as well as brake auto hold. The Outlander PHEV Mitsubishi Motors Philippines brought to the country also comes with 3-point ELR seat belts with pre-tensioner and force limiter for driver and front seat passenger. 3-point ELR seat belts for 3 in the second row seat, dual airbags, credit airbags. Also added for safety are Miss Acceleration Prevention System, Blind Spot Warning, Rear Cross Traffic Alert, Lane Change Assist, Forward Collision Mitigation System, Adaptive Cruise Control, Auto High Beam, and Multi Around Monitor. The arrival of the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV comes at a time when more and more automakers and distributors are offering hybrids in the local market. These include luxury brands also rolling out hybrids and PHEVX. This could signal the start of greater acceptance for vehicles not powered by fossil fuels. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll be talking about the supercharger. Superchargers and turbochargers, you hear these two terms thrown around interchangeably and can't really blame the people on the internet because they don't really know what it is, they have no idea what it looks like, much less know how it works. So we've covered turbochargers in a past topic, so this time we'll be covering the supercharger. So basically, let's start with the similarities. Turbo and supercharger. Both of these things are called forced induction because you are force feeding more air into the engine. It's just that the way that they do it are different. A turbo uses the exhaust gases to spin a turbine that feeds air. A supercharger, on the other hand, uses a belt like this connected to the engine, connected to the alternator, water pump, air cone compressor that spins two rotors in here that also force more air in. Same principle, get more air, suck more air, blow more air, make more power. The main difference between the supercharger and turbocharger is of the hardware itself. Almost all turbochargers are two circular round things. Superchargers come in this rectangular package because inside here are two intermeshing lobes. They look like gears. So what they basically do is it's also an air pump. It goes like this, air goes in, gets forced out, creates pressure. Nothing different from a turbocharger in terms of principle of operation, but how it operates is one is belt driven, one is exhaust driven. Now, let's address the popular notion, oh, superchargers are, have parasitic loss and all of that. No, it's not true. Whatever you read, once again, it's not true. Yes, it takes some energy to turn this, but that energy is a lot less than what the energy that it gives. Because if it is parasitic loss, and you're actually using more energy to turn this than what it makes, then there's no point in installing this in the first place. Let's put that in numbers. To turn this thing here, the assembly here with the lobes inside, takes about 5 horsepower from the engine. But what this gives you in return is about 40 horsepower on this 1.5 liter Honda City engine. So power-wise, for a 1.5 engine, we're adding 40 horsepower more. Basically, the behavior is like stuffing a big 2.4 liter engine into a car this small. That's the easiest way to describe the driving style and result of a supercharger. It feels like a big engine. The power curve is actually a straight line from idle all the way to red line. It's one straight line. No dips, no curves, no nothing. And it's very, very linear, which makes it a great choice for racing because unlike turbochargers, which have surged and sometimes depending on what size the turbo is, there's a lag when you let go. 
it's not very great when you're coming out of a corner. This is more predictable when it comes to driving and racing. So turbocharger, supercharger, which is better? One is not better than the other. One does not make more power than the other. If you're doing this on your project car, say a Civic 1.8, there is a limit to how much horsepower you can make. Go over that limit, whether it's turbo or supercharger, then you'll break the engine. It all depends on really what you want. And of course, how much you're going to pay. Some people may say, oh, I'll spend 200 grand on a supercharger for 40 horses. But if I do turbocharger, it's only 130, 140,000. I'll go with the cheaper option. Well, that's up to you. But the biggest advantage of a supercharger system is most of these things are made in kit form. So everything that you need to be able to install it comes with it. So this one here actually installs in one day. A custom turbo setup where everything will have to be fabricated from scratch will take about a week. That's the fastest to an average of a week and a half to two weeks. So you figure out how much your downtime is worth. So that's the how and why it works of a supercharger. That's our feature on Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.